Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Junior from CR42 Honey. So we've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I got home from doing a long, long day of filming and realized I didn't shoot an intro for this video. So I'll do a quick intro here and then we'll get right back out to the field. So we got our 762x54R and we got our 308 762x54. Obviously it's your Mosin and the Gunk. You can see the, the R actually stands for rimmed. You can see that little rim on the back of that. 762 by 54R has been around for a long time. Ballistics are very, very close to the 308 Winchester. Uh, this is both of them. This is Monarch ammo from both of these. So that's today's video. That's what we'll be doing. We'll get out to the field and let you guys check it out. Okay, so I'll show you guys some of the toys that we'll be working with. This is the 308. This is my PSA from Metal State Arm 308 DR10. grain full metal jacket for the Mosin and 145 grain for the 308 Monarch steel case the same ammo we we'll shoot the ballistic gel first and then we'll take some shots at this rope and see if maybe that Mosin can bust through two of these four so that's the test really excited so let's get a shot all right so Jake's gonna take a shot with the 308 all right go ahead Mr. Jake Show you guys what this round looks like up close. Just a steel case Monarch FMJ. All right, let's see what happens here. Good shot. All right, there is our shot with the 308. And did it go out of the table? sure what happened there it went through and through but you can ask can see the wound channel here now that wound channel is already there from another shot the wound channel you just put in is right there so it started going down right here down with trajectory and I saw something fly piece of table that shot did indeed go out of the bottom so we're gonna take another shot here All right, Jake, see if we can keep it in the block. All right, it looked like a good shot. Man, look at that, look at that expansion. Even though it's a full metal jacket, did a lot of damage. But all the way through the first block, and there she is. Second block, so we'll get a measurement on that. Let's take it out of there. Okay, let's get a measurement on this thing. It went about 25 inches. All right, well, let's yank her out. All right, there she is. So that is the 145 grain 308, went about 25 inches into the second block. So let's grab this Mosin and take a shot and see what kind of damage we get here in this ballistic ship. All right, let's catch it with this Mosin the gun and see what kind of damage we do. Obviously, we know the Mosin the gun on you, Jake, has been used uh, for a long time. It's the oldest, uh, longest in use. Uh, in the world, and there's still places around the world where they use the Mosin and the Gun. And 7.62 by 54R. All right, Jake, on you. All right, I think that stayed in. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it stayed in. I can see it from here. It whacked the heck out of both of those, man. Look how far it pushed that second ballistic gel block back. Sure. And you can see, holy crap, we're on the other side from me. That is incredible. So it goes in here, it's pretty skinny. It's 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 tumbling. Tumbling. Alright, so here's our round. This is the 
full metal jacket from the Moser. Ready to go? All right, let's take this shot, Mr. Jake. Ready when you are. All right, let's go. Gotta love the shrapnel. Yeah, so still only went through the first. Maybe a dent, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's kind of the texture of the rubber stone anyway. So obviously still only went through one rubber stone. No damage here. And if we get lucky, we may have to do it off camera. We'll see if we can find, find that bullet. All right, let's take a shot with the Mosin and uh, see if we can get through two of those rubber stones. We just took a shot with that Mosin, and man, I don't, I don't think we're gonna find that. Uh, I think we need to get a new table, man. Yeah, we need a, we need a table yeah, sponsor. We're gonna get a new table before we do another video. But yeah, just like the 308 went through one rumble stone. I'm really liking these rumble stones. Get close over there. Uh, we just started using these in our videos. Haven't seen anybody else using these. These are about four inches uh, thick, twice as thick as a paper. Um, so far we've did a couple of videos we haven't released yet you guys will see here soon and uh, I'm really liking using these so far nothing's going through two of these rubber stones only the first one so we have to get the big boys out maybe our 30 out 6 during the wind mag during the weatherby magnum uh, maybe even the 50 bell wolf that'd be cool Jake here we go yeah, the 50 bell wolf uh, the shotgun against the uh, the rumble stone be a good I'm test excited about that so anyway I appreciate you guys checking out this video I'll put a link to our third super carry playlist up here. I'll put a link to our 6.8 Western playlist. You guys go check those out. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Thanks as usual. See you next time. Junior out.